were sorely neglected and not properly fed, clothed, or housed. Others suffered physical, psychological, and sexual abuse. All were deprived of the love and care of their families, of their parents, and of their communities. These are the hard truths that are part of Canada's history. These are the hard truths we must confront as a society. Today, I humbly stand before you to offer a long overdue apology to the former students of the Lockwood School in Cartwright, the Makovic Boarding School, the Nain Boarding School, the St. Anthony Orphanage and Boarding School, and the Yale School in Newfoundland and Labrador on behalf of the Government of Canada and all Canadians. This apology is an important part of the healing. Today, the survivors of Newfoundland and Labrador, we can finally feel a part of the community of survivors nationwide across Canada. Today was about uh, the survivors. Uh, we've worked with the survivors over the past uh, months uh, and, uh, and years in some cases uh, to uh, respond to their needs. Uh, the need to acknowledge uh, the harm that was done to them and uh, demonstrate uh, that we are truly and deeply sorry and that we commit uh, to ensuring that their story is known and that they are supported, that there is uh, compensation, obviously, but there is also a duty to remember, to celebrate their strength and resilience as we uh, remember the tragedy and the um, misfortune and, and neglect that was thrust upon them uh, by colonial thinking and errors of the past. Um, this is an important moment focused on those survivors, but there are many more moments to come. There is much more to do in reconciliation. You mentioned a few of the different aspects we need to continue to work on. And this is a step, a big step, but it's a step in a long journey towards reconciliation. And that is exactly what we are embarked upon. There's uh, many concerns about uh, children in foster care now and uh, how we need to do better by them. There's concerns around uh, respect for land and culture and languages things that this government hears and knows and is working very, very hard on. But today was a moment for the survivors to be heard and to hear what they need in order to move forward in their healing journey. And it was a deep and moving honour for me to be able to represent all Canadians as we acknowledge the past uh, and move together towards the future. Uh, Prime Minister, just to follow up on that question, Sue Bailey with Canadian Press, what do you say to um, those people who have faced arrest and jail time for, for peaceful protests about their concerns about what the Muskrat Falls project could do? I uh, understand that the uh, province has launched uh, a provincial inquiry into uh, this issue. It is uh, a provincial-led uh, provincial, uh, uh, project. Um, you know, Canada uh, stands, uh, uh, stands uh, ready to uh, continue to work with the 
government of Newfoundland and Labrador uh, and all Newfoundlanders and Labradorians uh, on issues that matter to them uh, right across the province. Should the federal government be playing a, or be willing to play a greater role in the inquiry into how Inuit children in care have been treated over the years? Uh, as was said, the federal government has uh, always been ready to uh, support with documentation and to ensure that uh, our uh, officials are uh, there for the inquiry, but it is a provincial inquiry. Can I, if I could just ask a quick follow, on Tuesday you're to offer another apology, but what will people take from that as the federal government continues to defend itself in a class action lawsuit? Uh, sorry, the, 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 the LGBT. LGBT. Uh, the opportunity to recognize mistakes of the past, learn from them and move forward in a, a way that promotes healing, understanding and ensures that we do not make those mistakes uh, in the future uh, is what today's apology and uh, next week's apology to the LGBTQ community and uh, quite frankly uh, all apologies uh, for uh, past wrongs are about. Uh, we will continue to uh, work with uh, affected communities to make sure that the path we are on together as a country remembers and acknowledges the mistakes of the past, uh, makes uh, restitution in as much as it's possible, uh, and moves forward in a way that both honours uh, people's and remembers people's suffering, but ensures uh, that the lessons learned uh, are uh, uh, are implemented uh, for future generations. Mr. Trudeau, today you uh, said in your speech that uh, you acknowledge that Canada did have a duty to uh, protect uh, children that were in residential schools in this province after 1949. On the Inu child welfare issue and on the Muskrat Falls issue, there are Inu and Inuit who are uh, saying that the province is not doing enough to protect them from imminent harm, cultural loss. In light of that, what do you say to them uh, you know, you're saying that it's the provinces, uh, these are the provinces' issues, but the province, according to these people, is not doing enough. So what do you say to them when they say, please help us? Right across the country, we work with provincial and territorial governments to advance the uh, shared values that Canadians have. And part of that uh, is acknowledging past mistakes and uh, making sure that they aren't repeated and making sure we move forward in true partnerships, particularly around reconciliation. And the federal government, uh, our government stands uh, ready to be a good partner on a broad range of issues uh, with all provinces and territories. That, but that class action lawsuit, and the, again, the apology Tuesday, you talked about not wanting to repeat the mistakes of the past, but what about those who might say you're apologizing, but you're still defending um, your, the, the stance? There are... Uh, Obviously, this is something that we'll, uh, we'll be talking about more next week. Uh, what we stand for uh, is uh, an acknowledgement of uh, past errors, uh, and we work uh, in a concerted fashion and a responsible fashion towards uh, compensation and restitution, but also uh, to move forward in a, in a realistic and concrete way that uh, helps promote healing and never making those mistakes again. Uh, as to uh, the exact processes, sometimes there are legal ash, uh, aspects and issues to it, uh, but the uh, statement uh, overall of uh, a government that is willing to respect, to reflect on its mistakes and, uh, and mistakes of the past uh, is what Canadians expect. Do I have a question Hi, uh, Danielle Barron. Um, what would you say to those survivors uh, at home who chose not to participate in an event like this, um, seeing it simply a, as politics? I think uh, whenever anyone makes an apology, uh, what you can do as the person apologizing is ensure that it's real, that it's heartfelt, and that it comes with um, the right actions to uh, move forward in healing. Um, but people are at different places in their healing journey. Uh, there is uh, a lot of anger, a lot of hurt, um, a lot of people who uh, continue to struggle every day with uh, the impacts of residential schools. And we uh, are here to work with them on this journey um, in respecting their time and their pace on this. This is 
This is a hard thing, not an easy thing, and this government uh, is committing today that we will be there uh, for people today and tomorrow. Uh, On sait que l'impact des écoles résidentielles uh, est profond. Very profound. And when you present an apology, you can only do so in good faith, based on our values, on our heartfelt regret, and point to actions that pas tout le monde qui est à la même can help. Dans leur, uh, But everyone is not in the same place in terms of their voyage and their desire to heal. It's a difficult thing. And the impact of the residential schools, the pain, profond, the deep pain that was caused to individuals and families and communities, we know that it's going to take a, a long time to heal for many, many people. And all I can say is that the government will continue to be there uh, to help the survivors, to support them, and to show them respect and partnership. And this is not something that can happen overnight. We will continue to work with everyone in the months and years and decades to come. Thank you very much.